Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript front-end web tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create a cascading dependent drop-down list using a JavaScript only. So let's start the tutorial. Now what JavaScript iPhone tutorials, this is a cascading. This is our file name. And notice here we got the final output of our application how to create a cascading dependent drop down list using JavaScript. Below notice we got the country names. If, I say, if we check city names is empty. Now if I select India, notice here we got the India names, India city names. If I select Australia, we got the Australia. If I select USA, in here we got the USA. For this video tutorial, I'm using Visual Studio Code. First, let's open our folder, which is a JavaScript iPhone tutorials. And here our folder is added to the VS Explorer. Let me add one new JavaScript HTML file, cascading.htm. And here we got the newly created cascading.html file. Now let's minimize this explorer as well as i'm closing this welcome page now let's write the coding part let's declare the document type we'll close the html element after that i'm adding the header section then below the header section i'm adding on body type this is a basic html elements i'm adding here after that i'm adding center tag center tag Inside this center tag, I'm adding h1. Um, how to create a cascading, cascading dependent, dependent drop down list, drop down, drop down list using JavaScript front end development after that i'm adding on a horizontal line now dependent drop down list means we require the select option element first let's define one country name for this example i'm taking country select option element select and inside this select i'm adding options option the first option is the let's add select select value is equals to select second option usa the country name is and value is equals to usa option India value is equals to India option value is equals to oh, the third one will add Australia Australia and the value is Australia the USTRL now this is the country just for the demo purpose i have taken only three country names so when you use a click the country name i want to display the second drop down list the city names of that particular country so city here city again select element select inside this select i'm adding the option option let's add select this select is disabled and now let's add the ids also id we require the id of the select element so country and this one for the country city id is equals to city that's it up to now we have just finished with the uh, 
designing path only. We have created two drop down lists country and city. Now we require the JavaScript functionality. In the header section, I am adding script tag. In the script function, function populate cities. Populate cities is a function name. Let's declare the variable country drop down. Country drop down is equals to document dot get element by id the country names we are getting from this select option element so this id i am adding here the select id of the country i am adding here between double quotes or you can add the single quotes also again i require one more variable for the city drop down city drop down drop down is equals to document dot get element by id which is a city and this one this select element id of the city city now after that let's clear first the city drop down list city drop down dot inner html is equals to empty single quotes double quotes after that let's we need to select the country variable selected country let's define the variable selected country is equals to the selected country we are getting from this country drop down so country drop down dot value 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 but we don't have any cities now let's define uh, variable variable for cities is equals to USA uh, USA bit of square brackets I am adding uh, New York New York Los Angeles Los Angeles and Chicago Chicago Washington DC Washington DC Tama. The second country name is the uh, India. Is the India here? So we need to add same as it is where the value is here. India, Mumbai, New Delhi, New Delhi. Hyderabad, Bangalore. In the last one, we have a Australia. So let's add the Australia here. Here is capital Australia, Sydney. So D and E by Sydney. Pat and Melbourne. Just for the demo purpose, I have added only three country names, three city names in the Australia. And uh, that's it. Let's close this one. Now the main point here, the logic. Now the main logic comes here. When I select USA, I want to display the New York, Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, Chicago, Washington DC in the city drop down list. So here I am declaring variable city options, city options, city options is equals to cities we are getting from this variable now. So cities 
the selected country this one so it is selected country selected country for loop for variable i is equals to 0 i is less than city options city options dot length the length of the cities then i plus plus variable option again one more of variable and taking um, document dot create element i'm creating the element creating the element option this option is for the select drop down list option text option dot text option dot text is equals to city options city options i i and city drop down city drop down this is a city drop down the city names i'm adding i'm adding city drop down dot add add option that's it now we need to add this pop cities copy this one and here in the select id on change event on change between double quotes i'm pasting that function name that's it let's save this file save now we'll check the final output of our application go to file explorer now here our file name is have created the you know what javascript icon tutorials this is a cascading this is our file name and notice here we got the final output of our application how to create a cascading dependent drop down list using javascript below notice we got the country names if i say if you check city names is empty now if i select india notice here we got the india names india city names if i select australia we got the australia if i select usa in here we got the usa that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to create a cascading dependent drop down list using only javascript a dependent development thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial